of all movie opening scenes. Which one sold the entire film? Raiders of the Lost Ark. All the parts from opening to the point where Indy runs and meets the escape airplane. Halloween. The original 1978 version. The entire sequence is a 5 minute uncut pop shot. And then they rip the mask off. And we see that this mysterious killer in the shadows is an 8 year old boy. Children of Men, especially if you've never read the book. Holy cow, that was powerful. Roger Ebert pointed out that Theo was scared when the cafe was bombed. It's how you know he wasn't going to be a cliched action hero, in fact. He never uses a gun once in the entire film. And everything about that opening scene is educating the viewer. The city streets are choked with smog. The tech screens draped off the buildings explain the setting. The near future. Flawlessly. Then the newscast in the coffee shop perfectly explains the state of the world. No babies. And the youngest person has been murdered. Then boom. And not in a cheesy exposition way. Either. The youngest person in the world has died. If you go into the movie without knowing the premise. It takes a minute to understand what that means. The Matrix. I thought Trinity was the villain. I thought Trinity was the villain. Rewatch the lobby. From the perspective of the guys running the scanner. Morpheus and his team were referred to as terrorists early in the movie. And it makes sense. They just go into places. Shoot the shit out of a bunch of innocent people and blow shit up. What else could you call them? When I first saw this movie. I hadn't even seen a trailer for it. My dad asked if I'd like to go with him. That first scene blew me away. I was hooked immediately. Shaun of the Dead This is a great one, because they almost begin and end on same sequence. My favorite movie and I came here just to say this movie. The opening title is heavy on foreshadowing. The whole movie is. You've got red on you. The Godfather I think the scene where Bona Sarah asks Don Corleone for justice sets up our perspective about the Don pretty well. In that scene we instantly learn everything that Don Vito Corleone stood for. Edit. Spelling. Speed. I am speed. Scream has an incredible opening scene. Don't hang up or I'll got you like a fish you understand. Hangs up to avoid the stress of paying rent. Absolutely iconic. I think people forget how shocking, scary, and honestly, heartbreaking that opening scene is. Scary movie and other parodies. Not to mention the sequels. Kind of turn the movie into a joke but the original holds up. 28 weeks later. Yes, Dawn of the Dead as well, both films let you know they aren't fucking around. Dawn of the Dead forever made me afraid of anything in the hall at night. No matter how small or seemingly innocent. Gladiator 2000. That battle was incredible. Great dialogue, excellent music, human moments. What you do in life echoes in eternity. Some people just don't know when they're conquered, would you, Quintus? Would I? That was a brilliant line for character development. So many other writers would have set up Maximus for bravado. Having him chuckle at Quinta's statement. Or boast. But no. They create a character that sympathizes with and respects the army he's about to attack. Spaceballs. That ship going by for 5 minutes or more had me rolling and I never stopped laughing throughout. That entire film. We break for nobody. Good call. That's one of the best parody movies ever. American Psycho. I remember listening to him list out every single thing he does to groom himself in the morning and I thought, what a psycho, then thought, ooh I get it. LMAO I love the business card scene. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god, it even has a watermark. 
Ugh, please don't make me rewatch this movie tonight. Terminator 2. Starting with scenes of bustling everyday life, rush hour traffic, kids playing, etc. Then white flash to the same burnout playground in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Sarah's somber voiceover explaining how it happened. We see a brutal battle between man and machine. Tanks and Terminators crushing human bones under metal treads and feet. We briefly meet the steely face of the human resistance and savior of mankind right before segueing into the opening credits, finishing with an endo skull grinning through the flames. Fuck yeah? Tell me that doesn't get you pumped right there even just reading it. The way the children's laughter slowly fades out before the white flash always gave me chills. Also, seeing the words Los Angeles pop up while looking at a completely unrecognizable apocalyptical landscape. Hey, I can hear that opening music playing while reading your comment. The Departed Powerful footage and commentary did such a great job of kicking it off while giving a glimpse into what propelled Matt Damon's character into his entry into the criminal family. Then the line, when I was your age they would say we can become cops or criminals. Today, what I'm saying to you is this. When you're facing a loaded gun, what's the difference? Quote, felt that was perfectly within the spirit of the entire movie and sets the stage for what I consider to be one of the best films ever made. She fell funny. The briefing when Matt Damon gets to Baldwin's team as well, lol. Blade, Blood Rave. Jaws. You never see the shark in the first attack. Just the knowledge that there's something under the water. Brilliant. Couldn't agree more. My father was a beach lifeguard when the movie originally came out. He has told me stories how people were legitimately afraid to go into the water after seeing the movie. Powerful stuff. My mom lived in Sydney when it came out. She wouldn't watch it because she wanted to keep going to the beach. She eventually did, after moving back to the Midwest. I mean, you don't see it for the first hour. No, the mechanical shark breaking down was the best thing that could have happened for Spielberg. Tropic Thunder And they ordered the segments it in a way that I'm sure they wanted some of the audience to think That Booty Sweat and Bust a Nut were real products They didn't want you to catch on right away Lol I remember when I saw Tropic Thunder in the theater After the Booty Sweat commercial The theater was dead silent for a second until one guy said What the hell And then laughter broke out Yes this happened in my theater too. Two of my best friends told me I had to see this movie. They did a brilliant job of hyping it up too. Talking about it being the war epic that's basically the Saving Private Ryan of Vietnam War movies. So I walk into this theater with them. And then watch the Bust Nut commercial. At first I thought the theater had fucking lost it. And this was their last ditch effort for concessions profits. Then I saw Fatty Fart V in the Tobey Maguire movie, and I knew I was being had. One of the best cinema experiences of my life. Zombieland Goodfellas As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. The entire film feels like the opening scene. What a film, my favorite it, the music, best film ever. Watch the scene where Henry and Karen go through the side entrance to the Copa. If you watch carefully you'll notice the trip through the kitchen was completely unnecessary. They just make a big circle and walk back out the same door. It's necessary, street cred. Jurassic Park. It really sets the tone for the movie and the foreshadowing gives you a creepy feeling leading up to the storm. Shoot hair. Heck, the second scene does too. Because Grant's like me, he's a digger. Ominous music intensifies as the camera focuses on a mosquito in Ember Amber. Shout out to you, Bumbleballs. I totally flubbed that one. Goldeneye. 
All the hype surrounding how Casino Royale was going to go back to the beginning of Bond. I was skeptical, but that gun barrel less opening totally sold me on why Bond was 007. The Prince of Egypt starting off with Deliver Us was absolutely jaw-dropping. I can't think of a single stronger opening in any of the movies I've ever watched. Granted that isn't a lot because I'm not a big movie person, but still. Stephen Schwartz and Ofra Haza did an amazing job with Deliver Us. The entire soundtrack is just amazing as is its beautiful animation. Absolutely. Every song gave me chills. And many still do when I binge the soundtrack on YouTube. Each song is powerful storytelling by itself. Outside of the imagery. Agreed. It is one of the best openings I've ever seen. Subscribe for more hot Reddit takes in your inbox.